So, it's 1966. You're an actor, and you step off the bus in New York City. And before you know it, no way, you get hired by, wait a minute, who are these guys? Let me check the telegram again. The Roundabout Theater Company. Congrats, kids. Start spreading the news. You've made it. This is going to be spectacular. But, oh my lord, it's just not. Opening night at the Roundabout doesn't mean stepping on a stage in a glorious playhouse. It's a basement. And to make matters worse, it's the basement of a supermarket. So the play begins, and you're trying to do your thing, make the audience laugh and cry. But good luck with that, kid, because if you miss the laugh, you're competing with the shopping carts that are banging around right above your head. And it's hot down there. The front row is frantically fanning themselves with programs, but none of that precious air gets to you. You're laced up in a corset that the director tells you is a loner from the madam who's at the corner of 26th and 8th. And in the shadows, some kid who's been promised a role in the next play is trying to angle desk fans into bags of ice to cool the joint down. Cause yeah, that'll work. You try to focus, but you can't stop sweating. Makeup runs into your mouth as you're trying to finish your monologue. This is what it used to mean to be an actor with the Roundabout Theatre Company. Oh, Roundabout, how far you've come. 42 Drama Desk Awards, 53 Outer Critic Circle Awards, 10 Obie Awards, 5 Olivier Awards, and 29 Tony Awards. 30,000 subscribers, a bajillion audience members entertained. Sorry, Tom, none of them bought the premium tickets. 24 marriages consummated. I wonder how many of them met at the single series. Remember those? 48 babies made. Yeah, they all want to be actors. Sorry, folks. 525,600 knee pads, dance belts, tap shoes, lipsticks, wigs, fake eyelashes, pin curls, mic packs. Thank you to everyone who comes to our shows. You know who you are. You're the ones who show up without fail to sip booze from the sippy cups and leap to your feet at the curtain call. To the countless artists who tread our boards, pen the scripts, direct the shows, stitch the costumes, style the wigs, dress the set, cast the actors, and teach our kids. And finally, to the thousands who work tirelessly all year to make magic happen. And to everyone who gives so generously, take a bow. Since 1983, Todd has led the way. But we did all this together, my friends, and what a ride it's been across 50 years. So here's to you. Raise a glass. Happy anniversary, Roundabout.